All right, guys, let's tackle the elephant, the movie Game Changers. So ever so often, you get this documentary a couple, every two years, whatever, every, oh my God, you gotta watch, it's gonna change your life. I remember what the health was like that, and before that was the gluten craze, so the Game Changers, right? So the premise of the documentary is, we're gonna find out what is the best diet for athletes, and that's what they're gonna give you. So, first of all, one should consider that you're watching Netflix, okay? So, if you are really looking for studies about eating, nutrition, you know, peer review, it's probably not the place to go. It's kind of like watching the History Channel for your PhD in history. So, it's that, you know, is the premise. So, I have some issues with the movie, and before I go any deeper, I want to say, I will not discuss the, the ethical or ecological impact of meat eating. So what I want to try to explore in this video is, is eating vegan making you a better athlete or what is the story with meat, okay? So, I'm already thirsty. So the movie starts out, I want to find the best diet for athletes. But then it doesn't really, right? Because there's an immediate bias toward plant-based eating. So my issue is, point number one, that the producers of the movie own a plant protein company, which should be disclosed in my opinion. I mean, if like TexasLonghornBeef.org made a movie tomorrow that T-bone steaks rule, people would lose it, right? So I feel the same should apply here. Then there's a lot of fear mongering and bullying in the sense that, oh, we have studies that show that meat causes cancer. You don't. There's no such study. Think about what that would mean. That would mean you take 50 people, put them in that room, the other 50 go in that room. These guys eat meat, these guys don't, these guys get cancer. You watch them getting cancer, and then you say, aha, right? So observational data is pretty much useless because there are too many factors that play into it, right? Lifestyle, um, smoking, weight, so people who eat a lot of plants, on average, consume fewer calories, which makes them less prone to, you know, inflammation, heart attack. But if somebody eats moderate amounts of meat and plants, it will be the same result. So cans, uh, meat is by no means a carcinogen, let's say, like smoking, okay? So meat is like in the like 0.3 range where smoking is like 30, 40% carcinogen. So you cannot compare those two whatsoever. So that, I feel, is a misrepresentation. Then, what I don't like is the use of outlier athletes. So you're picking four or five athletes and saying, that shows the severity of vegan eating. Well, 99% of all the people that win the Olympics eat meat. So by that logic, what are you really showing me, right? You say that like Schiff was supposed to be on the video, but he got sick from being vegan. Carl Lewis was a vegan his last out of four Olympics, won the majority of, of his medals beforehand, was also tested for steroids. Um, the bodybuilder they have in there, he looks, he looks like me. I mean, he looks okay, but he's nowhere near ready to like, compete with like, the best guys. Strongman Badunian bombed out. Um, um, he had his, had his worst uh, meet at the Olympics, and so on and so forth. And as for the strongman, you know, well, by the same token, I've seen the mountain Thor, the world's strongest man, eat insane amounts of meats. So if we go by stories, then that means meat eaters are the strongest people in the world, right? So that does not make a lot of sense to me. Then I don't like the use of carbs and plants interchangeable. So it's like, oh, plants are energy. Yeah, we all eat carbs, right? So extreme cyclists, like shown in the movie, of course they consume a lot of carbs, but it doesn't mean that vegan eating makes you a better cyclist. So, I think that is plays a little bit on people's ignorance that they assume like, oh, carbs give you, plants give you energy. Well, everybody knows it, you know, and uh, you have to consume your carbs obviously for performance. So that seems a bit iffy. Then there's what I want to call like cheap parlor tricks. So when they go into the whole beet juice things, uh, beet juice where they're saying, oh, beet juice increases your bench press by 20%. Let's step back for a second. You're basically consuming nature's NO2 product, which is fine because it works, 
But it doesn't mean that you have to be a vegan to get that benefit. You could just take an NO2 product. And also, if you're playing that card, then creatine, by definition of the word creas, meaning meat, is only available in red meat, right? So that's a proven muscle builder, which would mean that a meat-based diet would be superior to muscle in a plant-based diet. So if you have the need to do these little things, then I don't put much stock in the documentary. You know, I'm detour with like quoting the examples of gladiators. Like first of all, gladiators were slaves. So they were eating what they were given, not what they wanted. It would have been best for them. And it's not exactly a double blind study when you're just looking at some bones of some people from way back when. And the last point, there's some outright lies. So one study that deals with the mortality of meat actually shows about people falling down and dying. So what does that do with anything? And it says, oh, use with a grain of salt. You're no kidding. These people, they just fell and died. Like, I don't understand what that has to do with anything else, right? So, I don't know. In conclusion, I worked in the stock market. If you present this to the SEC as like a red herring or to their term sheet to get funds for a company, the feds come and arrest you for fraud. No questions asked. That's how bad it is. So I think the takeaway points are as follows. One, don't use Netflix for the education. Two, eating plants is a good idea. Three, most of us don't eat enough plants. Four, eating meat will not kill you. It will not make you any sicker. Uh, five, a vegan bodybuilder can get pretty good, but without a lot of drugs and so forth, that person will not achieve its peak performance. So from what we know today, and that might change tomorrow, a plant-based diet is not superior in terms of performance to an omnivore diet, okay? By that, we're assuming that the person, you know, is not overweight, is training hard, and so on and so forth. So if you have two people that fit that parameter, the, the meat-eating person will almost always outperform the other person. Mike out. <laughs>